What's up, YouTube? Hey, welcome to another episode of Shy Keeps Going. This intro is gonna be different than the video for today, only because my phone has been tripping and I can't recover the video that I, the, the intro that I made this morning. So I'm kind of irritated by that, but uh, words of the wise, get more memory on your phone <laughs> if you can. Um, anyway, yeah, today um, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about the five things you need as a Road King owner. I don't see too many videos out there about it, so I'm gonna be one of the ones that's gonna put one out there for you. But um, if you subscribe and hit that bell notification, I will be giving um, away my 2013 Road King CBO that you will see here in the video um, eventually. We're taking our time with it. We ain't in a rush, but just you want to make sure that you are subscribed because that thing will be up for grabs when we do the raffle. Um, yeah, so here's the video. I hope y'all enjoy. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. Let's go. All right, y'all. So I'm out here. I'm about to wash this bike. I'm also about to include the five things that you need to know or the five things that you need for your Road King to be a successful Road King owner. So I'm about to get started on this wash. And as I wash, I'm gonna talk to y'all. Okay, so the biggest thing you're gonna need when you have a Road King, I feel like, is this. You're gonna need a full face helmet. The reason why I say a full face helmet is because with the Road King, you have nothing that's guarding you from the rocks and the debris on the road. I mean, it's already bad enough that you're on a motorcycle, but the fact that you don't have that front fairing and everything, like a road glide or a street glide, you already at a disadvantage. So number one thing you're gonna need is a full face helmet. All right, so the next thing you're gonna need, the next major thing you're gonna need is this. You're gonna need a windshield. <laughs> You're gonna need this windshield because I'm telling you, when you're getting 80, 90, 100 miles an hour on the freeway, this is right here is gonna help a whole lot. It's gonna cut some, that, cut some of that wind down. And I know um, a lot of the newer Road Kings, they come with the wind splitter windshield. So this is like the old school version, but now they got the, the windshield that has the, uh, the split in the middle. So I recommend, Go get with fits whatever you need, whatever whatever your needs are. Um, this came with my bike, so I'm gonna use what I got until I can get what I want to get. All right. So another thing you might want to get as a Road King owner, and a lot of Road King owners know this. Uh, one thing that you might want to get, or you might want to you know spend some money on, is a sound system for your bike. That is a big thing um, for me, honestly. Don't tell nobody. I haven't even hooked up my music yet. You know why? It's not a necessity. I'm trying to be in tune with the bike. I want to understand what this bike, what this bike sounds like on a good day. I want to understand what this bike sounds like when things are going wrong. So in the beginning right now, I don't plan on uh, doing too much with the music. You guys caught my last video. I went down to the music shop. I wanted to see what was possible with this bike. I'm just riding, gliding, and sliding, you know what I'm saying? So if you guys ever get a Road King, just know that you don't. it doesn't come with music. You're gonna wanna get some Bluetooth speakers or whatever, or get a Bluetooth for your helmet <clears throat> so that you can uh, have your music going and do, you know, do what you need to do. But uh, as of now, I don't have music on the bike. I did buy the, the, the bags with the speaker outlets because I will be getting them good old six by nines and we finna be <laughs> knocking, you feel me? So yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. So another thing that I would recommend that you invest in on your Road King, and you can keep it all stock and original, but me, my bike came with some bars. Go to Co Park and find you a bike with some bars, but <laughs> the best thing you could do for your Road King is invest in some comfortable bars. Do yourself some justice. If you like going for long rides, if you like 
just like riding all the time. Don't try to go too high. I guess there ain't nothing wrong with going too low, right? But yeah, invest in some good, comfortable bars because yeah, man, just invest in some good bars. That's all, that's just, that's what I recommend. And the last thing that you're gonna need being a Road King owner, you're gonna need some good headlights. These headlights, um, at least some of them, I always see people with uh, just a single headlight. I see a lot of people that don't be rocking the, um, that don't be rocking the, the accessory lights or the fog lights on the Road Kings. And I think that you just need to upgrade the headlight. You wanna get your lights on this bike as bright as, as bright as possible, because when you're in the dark, you definitely need some good lighting on this bike. You gotta add some extra LEDs, do whatever you gotta do. Get that Daymaker on there. I have yet to upgrade this uh, headlight on here, but I will be doing it here soon. So yeah, definitely gonna need some uh, some good lighting on the Rogue King. Um, as you know, like the Rogue Glide, it got the big, the big one strip on the front. So that light right there alone is like pretty bright. And then a lot of times too, like the bikes be coming with the Daymakers already. So, you know, if you got a, a newer Rogue King, I wanna say a 2000 and uh, what, 2016, 17 on up, you should have a pretty good light already. But if not, go ahead and take the money, invest into a better light. Um, I'm looking at some, some different lights um, online right now. Uh, somebody commented and told me about the Eagle lights already before, so I'm gonna check those out. But yeah, invest in good lights for your Road King. I hope this video helped. I'm about to finish uh, drying this bike off before this soap dry up and the sun start to pivot. But yeah, appreciate y'all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You will have a chance to win this bike once it becomes available. Right now, I'm still doing some other things with life and this comes last, life comes first. But y'all get the picture. Like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate y'all. I'm on the road to 1,000 subscribers. Peace.